American Assassin is the 11th rap novel. I've been living with Mitch Rapp since 1995, while I was still working on my first novel, Term Limits. When I introduced him in Transfer of Power, he was in his mid-30s, and I always wanted to go back and write this story about the birth of rap. My inspiration for making a American Assassin a prequel was that I, there was this missing period in Rap's life. Everybody meets him in Transfer of Power. He's already a highly trained killer. He's already been on these operations all over the world. And I thought the reader, it, it first it started out as me thinking that the reader would really enjoy finding this part out about him. I had no idea that I would enjoy finding all these intimate details out about Rap. I, I know the man, of course, I created him. But I didn't know all of these little things about him. I, I have never walked down that path to explore how he was recruited, how he was trained, his first kill, all of that stuff that is so important in creating the Mitch Rapp character. And I have, of the 12 novels I've written, I had more fun writing this book than any of the previous books. I graduated from college in 1988, and I remember that following December, the tragedy of the Pan Am Lockerbie terrorist attack, and um, that Syracuse University was hit particularly hard. 35 students did not make it home for Christmas break that year, and I thought, wow, you know, that campus must be in just shock right now over the loss of those students. Years later, when I started kicking around the idea for rap, I thought, who becomes an American assassin? It, it, it's, a, it's a pretty strange calling for a young man to take uh, a career path to choose after college. And so I thought, this person is going to have to have had survived a pretty traumatic event. And I went back to Pan Am Lockerbie and I thought, that, that's the impetus. That, it's, the, it's a type of, something like that, a tragedy like that would be the type of thing that might motivate a guy to go to work for the CIA, to be recruited by the CIA. And so that was why I chose Pan Am Lockerbie, and that's why I dedicated American Assassin to victims and the families of that horrible terrorist attack. You know, I get asked all the time, you know, do we have Mitch Rapps? Uh, we, have, we have guys that are like Mitch Rapp. We have a lot of special forces operators, Delta Team, SEAL Force, uh, Rangers, Marine Force Recon, guys like that, who are over in the war zones doing some really nasty stuff. And it's, it's uh, funny how many of those guys then go on to work for the CIA and their clandestine service. So while we have, we have guys who are uh, similar to Rapp, I don't think we have anybody quite like Mitch Rapp, at least legally speaking. I, I, that's, what I'm gonna, that's the answer I'm gonna stick with for the purposes of this interview.